Hey everybody, today we have Democracy Majority Rules from Make Believe Games. Independent game company uh, done by um, the created by a uh, guy who's been in the games and has other games out there. This is like a Kickstarter thing. Um, you can go to their YouTube channel and find the, uh, that video. Um, there's makebelievegames.com, but, uh, thing about it is there's nothing about, hardly anything about democracy that's not already written on this box, basically. Um, uh... Apparently it was a uh, Kickstarter that didn't work very good. Uh, here are the rules. I read some stuff on the doohickey on the online at boardgamegeek.com and stuff. This never came out. Um, these scenarios I don't believe ever came out. None of this that they said they were going to do did they ever do. Um, it must have not got the funding they wanted. You can play as liberty, change, regulate, or tradition. Or, of course, moderate. Uh, the various different groups are you got money, which they have front and back, media, lawmakers, justice, bureaucracy, activists. And voters. The basic game you play with the white, the advanced game you can mix it up. Uh, each faction or ideology or whatever player has this little tent thing that's kind of like a uh, player aid card. That was something extra added. Um, you have all these tokens, which are political. Uh, you're basically, they're kind of like the currency of the game, sort of. You have a lot of um, tokens. These are how much political power you have. Then in this bag, right here, it comes with all these other little bags to put all your stuff in from this big bag. You have a cool gavel. Order in the court! Order in the court! You have um, these wooden little chips. There's yellow, green, red, white, and blue for the different factions. Represent. And then you have um, these uh, tokens here, which represent something else. I forget. Um, anyway, you have these cards here, which represent the different groups. And maybe hell, you might be able to control one of the groups and if you control one of the groups because you have the most people on it you get special powers you have the activists group you have the bureaucracy group same on all same thing on the back of each card um, you have the justice group you have the lawmakers group you have the Maverick, 
you have the media, you have the money, you have the president, and you have the voters. The Maverick is, you know, the player in the behind, and then you have the... Now, then you have these ballot cards, which they have each group. They have They have, they're supposed to be yes and no ballots. I don't understand why they didn't put yes and I don't understand why they didn't put no on there, but apparently it looks like the money's always voting yes and the somebody's always voting no. <laughs> I don't, uh, and the bureaucracy is always voting no. I don't understand that. You would think that there would be equal yes and no ballot cards for every faction group, whatever. That seems like they made a mistake there, which maybe they did. Then we have these uh, law cards, where these are the laws you get to vote on. Liberty ver a balanced budget and they're always green or yeses reds nose I guess um, bank reform some bring law and order and others bring chaos uh, censorship Change versus tradition, civil liberties, media versus tradition, clean government, voters versus lawmakers, constitution reform, lawmakers versus tradition, declaration of war, president versus lawmakers, civil unrest, see some bring civil unrest, military industrial conference, defense spending. Tradition versus voters, deregulation, money versus activists, education reform, change versus bureaucracy, electoral refund, change versus voters, family values. Tradition versus change, green energy, coal, oil, activists versus money, healthcare reform, regulate versus liberty, impeachment crisis, lawmakers versus president. Justice reform, activists versus justice, legalization, liberty versus justice, police crackdown, tradition versus activists, privatization, liberty versus bureaucracy, prohibition, justice versus liberty, Protectionism, tariffs, bureaucracy versus change. These have some cool cartoons in here. Search and seizures, justice versus change. Surveillance, bureaucracy versus liberty. Tax cuts, voters versus regulations. Trade war, regulation versus president, union busting, money versus regulation. These seem like um, 
all the verses are always these polar opposites fighting each other. It's never these two fighting or these two fighting or these two fighting or these two fighting. It's never side by side fights. Be for some reason. It's always green versus red. Uh, That seems like a like something that also might be wrong there. All around the court, all around the court. This is probably the coolest thing the game comes away with right here is this ballot. Um, it would be cooler if the game. Add more. I guess it has the basics. Also, it's a game called Democracy when we live in a republic. So that's the game. Um, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming, like, comment, subscribe, share. This guy's working on some kind of toxic zombie game that they spend more of their time on. Uh, apparently this game didn't get the funding or something of that nature. And it needed to be able to be better, which is the fall, which is the Kickstarter problem that you have with Kickstarter because uh, Kickstarter. I didn't find it. From, I didn't buy it from Kickstarter. I found it at a antique mall, so someone else bought it from Kickstarter. And I guess had it in their booth because uh, they didn't want it after they didn't bought it. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Remember, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And, uh, there's not very many videos out there about this game. There is from the designer of the game and the Make Believe Games Company's YouTube channel. There is a unboxing video and a how to play video and then there's like one more person who did a unboxing video but other than that there's like nothing out there so um <laughs> it's like one of those games that failed because of funding but i don't understand that I don't understand why Kickstarter games fail because of funding. I mean, you would think that somebody who's got money would be able to make sure their game succeeded and would need to make their game wouldn't need to kickstart their games. I can understand somebody who's poor kickstarting their games. But these are rich people who have been in the gaming industry for years who got paid who decided to get out of one thing 
and then they're trying to make their own shouldn't they have money already from you know previous having a job being in the gaming industry got some kind of um royalties off of the games they've already created in the past where they could just take completely self-fund stuff i mean couldn't they self-fund it it just seems like they could self-fund it but they choose not to uh, or it also kind of seems like maybe they like something and then they don't really have the heart for it or something because if it doesn't secede they just drop it like it's nothing but all the people who backed it on Kickstarter or whatever all the people that invested in it then don't get nothing out of the deal or get a terrible product out of the deal or don't get what they paid for basically and that seems wrong too so it seems a little bit wrong on but then there's good stories and then there's bad stories with the Kickstarter. There's like stories where people funded something, it went successful, and now it's a mass market game or it's in the hobby stores. And then there's stories like this one where it didn't go over very well. Also, I wonder if it didn't go over very well because... Um, Maybe to do this requires a person that is more capitalistic in nature and this particular individual who created this game I believe is more on the left on the of the aisle when it comes to politics and stuff regarding capitalism and uh, board games a lot of them I mean, at least the marketing aspect and the capitalistic aspect of them and possibly the other aspects are more on the right. So you're having a little small problem. Maybe, don't know if that's true or not, but maybe more right people or centrist people are into politics than leftist people and maybe that had something to do with it maybe election year was coming up and the fact that the guy that invented this game is not pro-trump um and a bunch of people were pro-trump had something to do with it i don't know Anyway, maybe it was just a failure because not many people really were interested in politics and democracy to begin with. Anyway, one day it might be worth something because it was a failure, though. That's, you know, that's possible. Anyway, have a great day later. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. What kind of uh, political beliefs do you have comment down below uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video it's just a game and there's plenty of political games out there uh, this one seems like it would be pretty simple area placement movement control type game